Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. This is Bob from Rail Design, and today we're going to talk about the Sun Pendant. And uh, I designed the Sun Pendant actually uh, probably a couple months ago, but uh, I just decided to uh, get some first prints of it. Um, one you may have already seen pictures of the, the uh, yellow uh, plastic, uh, strong and flexible material that Shapeway uh, offers. So, but this time I uh, I ordered another one in the um, this, the steel uh, gold material uh, matte uh, finish. So we're going to take a look at those. I'm going to switch to a uh, different uh, orientation and, and just go from there. All right. So let's take a look at the, uh, the yellow, strong, and flexible. Um, plastic. If I can get this to focus right. OK. So here we can get a good shot of uh, the rings. Um, I'd like to point out that that I was pretty pleased with the, the way the inner ring came out, um, and the the first outer ring uh, came out very well. And you know the, the corners I was a little concerned about because of the radius uh, limitations on additive manufacturing. Um, uh, is like half a millimeter so it's it's d difficult to get really fine detail so um but i was pleased about the outer ring coming out as well as it did and the even the the last outer ring um which is supposed to be like another sharp um diamond shaped or prism shaped uh, uh hole through it it, it, it came out uh, good enough i think for plastic um, not as perfect as was like I would like. It's not like injection molding, so uh, I'm going to try to um, curb my expectations on that. So, but overall, the yellow um, came out pretty good. There we go. There's a good shot of it right there. So, and uh, it fit the. This is like a six millimeter jump ring going through, which it fit fine. Um, so there's plenty of space for a. Uh, for a necklace to go through there um, or if you wanted to put like a uh, like a fiber um, cord through it just to have it on a cord instead of a jump ring on a chain so there's you know there's a few things you can do with that so all right let's move on to the matte gold steel So this came out really well, really well. I was really happy with this. So, um, so let me get the right orientation here. There we go. Um, so this one, uh, I was pleased with all the detail that came out with it. Uh, even though this has similar limitations, the, uh, the, the, the steel, I think, is a um, much better option. That, you know, if I was going to wear it, I, I'd wear, I'd certainly wear the steel. Um, I'd wear both, but the steel I think is, you know, pops a little bit more. Um, I actually might uh, do that. I might just throw this on a jump ring and, and put it on. So if I can get this to focus again. There we go. So, um, so I also wanted to give everybody a good, uh, you know, indication of what these things look like when they print. Because when you see things on Shapeways and you see the render, um, it kind of gives a, you know, it could give a false indication of what the thing actually looks like. And, and Shapeways is pretty good about labeling, you know, images as um, as renders. But you don't really get a good sense of, you know, what the details are, um, you know, as they come out of the, you know, because you can actually see some of the uh, the layers as the um, added manufacturers building this up in, in layers. You can see some of the rings uh, that come down and, and you don't know how pronounced they're going to be in the final print. But this one's polished, and you know the rings came out really well. And it uh, looks like they took care not to damage any of the finer detail. Uh, so I was pretty pleased in both of these, and I will keep both of these, uh, you know, the steel and the plastic, up on on the shop, um, and hope that uh, uh, you like them too. And you can give me any comments or uh, or advice or uh, what you think of the you know the part, um, you know the. Uh, the, the part you know the the um, one of the purposes of this video uh, is to find out what you would prefer you know as a customer 
So if I'm creating things and you see something that you like, but would like, you know, maybe uh, maybe you know different geometric shape um, or certain uh, materials to be available or or any combination thereof, uh, just let me know. Um, you know, I'm here for you. So, all right, thanks. Okay, so that was the sun pendant. Uh, and it's available up on my Shapeway shop right now. I'll leave a link below. And uh, uh, please feel free to, to like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me out. Um, even if you're not going to, you know, go through my shop, you just, uh, you know, if you could share the, the video, I'd appreciate it. So, um, so I hope to see you next week. And I'll try to go over the, um, let's see, the pie pendant. I'll go over the pie pendant. So it uh, should be a good one for those into, into the math symbols. All right. See you next week. Bye.